Hello, America, land of the thorn, land of the thorn and thistles and the tumbleweeds and dry ground. Hey, everybody, welcome to the John Loro YouTube channel. I've been gone for a while, and uh, for three months, I haven't made a video in four months. Three of those months, I was in Colorado, and I had to get a new phone, and uh, the uh, Metro person could not transfer my videos onto my new phone, and I spent two hours with the Google technician who told me it was done, but um, actually, um, I lost my email accounts and all accounts and YouTube accounts, so I finally got back here and everything was okay with the technician at Metro. She was able to fix my phone, so uh, I missed you all. I lift you all up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today, and I'm here doing an expose on this plant right here. Which is, uh, I just want to mention, you see that, see that tower over there? You know that, I think I may have been wrong about the, um, the, the BG brothers, the four BG brothers, or the five BG brothers that are giving me the heebie-jeebies, because what we saw on the, uh, what we saw at that hip-hop concert, the PSYOP was that there's a satanic uh, ritual and it's a portal going on, but for the first time since uh, they claimed the Miley Cyrus um, virus started in uh, Asia, we saw people back then in 2019 squirming on the ground and wriggling, and that's the first time uh, we've seen that uh, at the concert there. People squirming on the ground and uh, spasming and all kinds of things like that. So this will be used for the thousand points of light when they fire up their, uh, in the disclosure event that they're going to bring to fool the people that their God comes from the sky. So this, uh, this plant over here is uh there's about 10 of these right around here regionally where i live in turlock california and uh just want to say on that last video i made the uh, last video i made i was a little uh i shouldn't have said that there's nothing beautiful in the world because i see so much beauty in the world today um the beauty of our lord jesus christ and the creation of his is all beautiful to me and the little children and the animals and the doggies and the chickens is all beautiful to me so i need to be more like uh jimmy stewart i guess and it's a wonderful life and uh, Stephen, when he was being stoned in Acts, we got to be more like that, fellow believers. And uh, so, hello, yo, A.L. Gilbert Feed Mill. That's now an ethanol plant that was funded by $85 million grant by Billy Bob Goat, Gates of Hell, who will never prevail. The Gates of Hell will never prevail against us. So what they're doing out here is they have all these wet surface air coolers that are spewing out all their crap uh, over here about four miles is the TID plant which is spewing it out it looks like a mushroom cloud now today um, for the last week we've had fog now I grew up in this valley out here on a dairy farm and I know we used to have tule fog that would come up from the ground when the earth was so moist but now they're claiming we're in a severe drought and we haven't had any rain whatsoever um, but there's been fog every day now the fog doesn't come up from the ground anymore it actually comes from the sky and they're using uh, much technology to do this uh calling it climate change change the climate with technology take off the mask in jesus name take it off you're in the car by yourself yeah here's another one take off the mask idiots <laughs> so these plants out here are spewing up the clouds and the fog that look like a mushroom cloud and the fogs come from the sky so we're in a severe drought. There's no moisture on the ground. There's been plenty of moisture in the air. Everything is getting wet. So they're making their uh, clouds out of these so-called factories. Just in this area, I know of 10 at least. The Foster Farms plant over there in Livingston. TID plant over here. This A.L. Gilbert now ethanol plant. You can see it spewing it up right now. And they're spraying the crop out of the chemtrails. But what's coming right out of there is that right there. Okay, so that's why you have 34 types of clouds now. Probably 33, I'm sure. And uh, as many clouds as there is, Bruce Genders. So, um, what we're doing now is we're exposing all this, and we're going to drive up here and find out who this corporation is. These guys must think I'm the uh, chemtrail test pilot. These test pilots for the chemtrails must think I'm the chemtrail crash test dummy or something because everywhere I go I get sprayed like a bug but uh, we're not concerned with that because God's Holy Spirit is all around us the holy angels are always around us so we're going to go up here seems like a good old little mom and pop shop doesn't it I should go inside but that's for another day right now we're just going to park right here 
and do a little research park in the red zone you guys are busy so this is the corporation right here that put this ethanol plant in here it's called a met us a meet us they're gonna meet us they're gonna meet they're gonna meet their antichrist in the sky that's what they're gonna meet and i just want to say something about the uh the uh t rump patriot psyop the cue ball people standing behind cue ball people standing behind the eight ball playing pocket pool and eating their popcorn i call it popcorn eating patriots i wanted to ask you when are you going to stand for freedom and on your way when you're on your way to the fema camp or after you're inside of it and you realize you don't get to control the remote on the state ran big screen TV. No, the remote controls you then. So it's about time to stand up for freedom now. Instead of waiting until the last days when everything's taken from you. So this company right here, A-E-M-E-T-I-S. Let's do a little expose on this. Now that I am Jimmy Stewart and it's a wonderful life. Okay. Where do I start? Got some notes here. Um, Bill Gates and the Rockefeller Foundation teamed up to invest $100 million in the London-based Welcome Trust Foundation in turning out biofuel. San Diego-based uh, Diego Sapphire Energy is making crude, green crude oil from algae, if you can believe that. That's why in San Diego you have the weather phenomenon called June gloom. You know, the whole month of June is just gloomy in San Diego for as long as I can remember. I don't even go there anymore in June. But there they are. That's what they're doing. They're spewing it up. I'm going to come out here the next time it's foggy because it's supposed to get a, uh, maybe a trace of rain. You can see it's spewing right up and becoming the clouds. And then they're up there spraying too. So all the weather's man-made, folks. All the weather is made with technology. I'm not even sure. It's not even a uh, it's big supercomputer beast algorithms that are doing it too. So this company right here... Corporation. Well, I thought I was ready for this. This is Amethyst Biotechnology Company here in Keys, California. And there's one in Riverbank, California. And they have one in India, too. I'm sure where it is in India, the people are just getting flooded with uh, clouds. So, Amethyst Biotechnology is forecast to produce 12 million gallons of eth ethanol per year. This was funded by $85 million grant from Billy Bob Gates of Hell. Um, Richard Branson Richard Branson invests in Lanza technology which uses rabbit gut bacteria rabbit gut take you down the rabbit hole with this one folks this goes deep we won't see I used to see a lot of rabbits around here I'm wondering why we don't see anymore they're using rabbit guts and Lanza Corporation. So we have Global Green Solutions, Vancouver Plant in El Paso, Boston based Green Fuel Technologies, Solus Fuels in Fort Collins, Colorado. I was just there. They're going to use algae, use wastewater, salt water. It's an aquatic species, um, they say. And uh, Billy Bob Gates of Hell Will Not Prevail gave $84 million to uh, Pacific Ethanol in Sacramento. Um, some of the funders were David Eichhorn, Eichhorn and Daniel Lope. Probably lose interest if I do the show that, huh? <laughs> so, um, there's an article by the Seattle Times. Uh, let me get back to Richard Branson invest in Lanzatech with the Grab Gut Technery. They're going to use gas from factories. Branson has been working with Lanzatech since 2011. Lanza means, uh, we know that sounds familiar from 2012 and December 14th, right? Um, Lanza Tech Fuels uses bacteria from the guts of rabbits. Um, Lanza means spear in Spanish, the tip of the spear. And their first motto was spearheading new technology. Now this Amethyst Corporation is changing its name to Alto, Alto Inc., A-L-T-O. But uh, because they want to reach the sky, they want to reach the... They want to reach the first heaven claim to be God with all their technology there was a 30 there's they're going to be going to Bajo not Alto though they're going to be going to Bajo this guy keeps driving around what 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 do you keep driving around back and forth dude huh act like you're minding your own business yeah don't worry 
I know I'm going to be all over the place with the video, but I just want to say Jake the asshole is exposing all the fake flat earthers and all the uh, ring, the ring that's going on there. And I believe that this right here, these plants that are going, this is right by the railroad tracks, the Santa Fe and the Union Pacific. And um, conveniently put near the tracks. So um, I believe this has a lot to do with their underground tunnels and their under, deep underground military bases too, right here. That's what's going on wherever these are located at. And you have them in your town. They do the weather regionally, like Hurricane Harvey that was stagnant over Houston for 10 days. They're making all the weather with technology. And they do it regionally, and they're not here to help. So, 33.3 million shares. Got all the numbers to it, too. 33.3 million shares of common stock this company has now. Um, they plan on producing 66 million yeah, 66 million gallons per year of ethanol production. This facility right here in Keys, California, supplying 80 dairies with animal feed. I bet they love that genetically modified corn, huh? Also, they own one in Goodland, Kansas, right off I-70 near Colby, Kansas, in Goodland, Kansas. I've driven by there many times, and I know there's like red blinking lights and some nefarious, sinister stuff that goes on there. And um, I've uh, already knew that. Goodland, Kansas, with all the red blinking lights out there, it looks like a UFO landing strip. You know, we know all the UFOs are man-made in there. So, let's talk about the founder of this venture capitalist and philanthropist, Eric McAfee, founder of this company, the founding shareholder also of Evolution Petroleum Particle Drilling Technologies, which uh, I don't think anybody uses his equipment to drill any wells, water wells or oil wells. Maybe those underground tunnels he's involved in too, huh? He was appointed the Global Scot, the Global Scot, by the First Minister of Scotland in 2012 and served 20 has served 26 years, served 26 years as the elected board member of California Manufacturers and Technologies Association, went to Harvard Business School, entrepreneur in residence at Wharton MBA program, and Amethyst Advanced Biofuels Plant was selected as the number one waste, this one right here, in my hometown, the number one waste of, to value protected, number one waste to value projection in the world in 2018 by Biofuels Digest. In 2004, McAfee funded a significant portion of the 10 million Lapsley McAfee Field House at Mount Hermon, a 100 year old 400 acre Christian Conference Center located in the Santa Cruz Mountains of North California. He also owns a lot of property in Saratoga near the Bohemian Rhapsody Grove. Um, that place gets 120,000 families and attendees per year, named after McAfee's granddad, a founding trustee of Mount Hermon in 1906, and a noted pastor who served for 35 years at Berkeley First Presbyterian Church in Berkeley, California. Founded Valley Teen Ranch in Saratoga, Saratoga California. And, uh, and I do believe there's a lot going on here. I got a lot of videos I want to make, but... Uh, I just wanted to expose a little bit of this weather making factories here today, okay? Because that's what's going on. Making all the weather with technology is just spewing up in the sky. Today's becoming clouds. We've had fog straight for five days straight. No sunshine whatsoever in the last days. The sun will be blacked out before the coming of our Lord. And we thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that we get to live in these last days and experience all this and be lights that shine in the darkness and exposing the evil, putting on our whole armor of God every day and standing against the wiles of the wicked one. And we glory, glory in our tribulations, and we know we are saved by the blood of Jesus and having faith and believe in him. He will make war against our enemies. And who that leadeth into captivity shall be led into captivity. So they try to lead us captive, they'll be taken captive. And to kill with the sword, they'll be killed by the sword of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, Jonathan Wolf's son, CEO of South San Francisco based Solazyme Inc., says algae fuel is the best, which produces his al algo biofuel in the dark. Um, algae is the best in the world at taking chemical energy and turning it into an actual chemical, but it's going to take a long time to make it best at harvesting protons. That's why Solazyme. Zine, uses industrial fermenters such as those used by the pharmaceutical industry 
to produce insulin, to produce insulin, to grow batches of algae in the dark. Yeah, that's why they want it dark and damp. They want it dark and damp. Instead of feeding on sunlight and carbon dioxide, solozymes, genetically engineered algae produce oil from sugar water inside these large tanks. Big sugar daddy producing sugar water for everybody. Thanks, sugar daddy. And, uh, there's a lot of mold, a lot of spores, a lot of algae everywhere because of all the moisture in the, in the air. And I'm sure wherever you are, this is just looks just like this too. This guy today, everywhere in the world. Because, um... There's also a Muslim uh, prophecy, so-called prophecy, um, that in the last days, the, um, the Mahdi, when he shows up, is going to cause a lush drizzle upon the earth. There's no need for sunshine. Everything will be lush and green. And uh, I believe they'll be mass producing the weather as they already are now. And that's part of their technology that the beast system, which I, I believe now artificial intelligence is going to be the Antichrist. Okay, the beast system. They give breath to the image of the life, life to the image of the beast that it would speak. They had to give the life to the image of the beast. It's not alive. It's artificial intelligence that will break in pieces the whole earth. And that's going to be artificial intelligence. And uh, what's the news is fake for? There's also a channel I stumbled upon a couple months ago called AI and the Antichrist. Uh, if you type in that, he's got some really good videos. He nails it. So, the Muslim prophecy says there will be a lush drizzle upon the earth and everything will grow. And that's why God's two witnesses will shut up the heaven, the first heaven, so that no rain falls during the three and a half years of their prophecy. Um, because it's the fake rain that they've been working on. Government piss in a bucket. Some fizzle, some drizzle. And uh, so what I do is everywhere I go now I collect my uh, plastic bags. So I make an annual pilgrimage to the ocean where I throw all my plastic bags in the ocean now. Yeah. Um, you know, some people make a pilgrimage to Mecca every year. I go, I go to the ocean, throw my bags in there. Um, so we're waiting upon the two witnesses that's when you know the tribulation is starting when you see the two witnesses about 10 days before the start of the tribulation um you no know the tribulation has not started yet and the uh rat scene is not the mark of the beast uh go watch my end time message video the first video i made explains the mark of the beast the spiritual mark god gave to the seed of cain which will allow the evil to come full circle i know um so um Send you a national laboratory and the Lawrence Livermore Laboratory. The wind turbines are all doing this too. See the wind turbines are spewing all this stuff up. Oh, 30 miles from here is Lawrence Livermore Laboratory. Uh, due northwest. And uh, they're spewing out the clouds. Coming up over the sky. And you see right there. The next time I'll come back it looks like a mushroom cloud. When they're making their fog you'll see. So. Cost for the algae base is, is a, the cost for the algae base fuel currently range from ten to a hundred dollars a gallon, according to systems engineer Ron Pate at Sandia National Laboratory, where they make the, where the wind turbines are and all the missing cylinder money went to. Um, too much was built too quickly in 2004 to 2008, so stock plunged. Uh, farmers were even contributing to have these built, um, maybe out of their half a million dollars that they get for um, putting these these five BG. Uh, five BG brother heebie-jeebie towers up they get over half a million bucks to put those on their land in in other words selling their birthright for a cup of soup and uh, Contributing their own demise and their own enslavement uh, Amethyst Corporation also, also have a plant in Riverbank, which is going to make 12 million gallons of ethanol per year um, Richard Branson also invested in lab I already said that didn't I? Okay, this video might be almost done <laughs> Just want to um, tell everyone to make sure you recycle and go green, okay? <laughs> this is the biggest sigh up ever, the weather. And I uh, just want to say I'm glad to be back. I'm going to be making more videos, and I just want to thank you all uh, for sticking with me. Some of you have probably been unsubscribed, but I, I go out I pick up subscribers. You can't share my videos on Facebook or uh, anything like that. Nobody will see them. But uh, we're going to continue to expose the evil in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to be bold. Um, did I say to watch Jake the asshole? Yeah, I did. Watch him. He's about the only real uh, fe truther out there, and he lives about, he lives right up the road from me. I'm gonna have to hook him up with him because I'm gonna tell him I got his back. Okay, 
because uh, you know who you're messing with out here, these evil bastards. Uh, they will never prevail against us, and we will continue to uh, be light, shine in the darkness. So um, thank you all for watching. I want to lift you all up in the name of Jesus Christ today. Whoever out there that needs a prayer for healing for your family members, that they'd be strong and endure to the end, that be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ every day, because that's what we stand for, covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, so, I'll be making some more videos. I don't want this to go too long. I just want to tell y'all I love you. And um, thank you for watching. And uh, the Lord be with y'all. And God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, King of kings and Lord of lords. Thank you.